Hi everyone, I'm Jason Dirtich and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video, we're going to see how to create an entire Google form from a Google Sheet and a Google Spreadsheet, or in this case, many forms from one Google Spreadsheet. I have redesigned the script that I had in my last video about the same topic. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share two things. One is this template, which allows you to fill in the stuff that you need for creating your form or your exam in this case. And two, I'll re share the script that's going to allow you to do everything that in the last video I could not offer. So the first thing we're going to do here is before I explain the template here, we're going to go into tools and then script editor. And we're going to add the new script here, which as I said, I will share as a public link below this video. So we're going to pop in the new script. We're going to name this guy as we normally do. Now we'll just go quickly through this and see some new things. First of all, I've added a button. So now when you go in here, you're going to see this button here and it says sheet to form. This will not be here until you actually run the script, but so that you can see what it's going to look like, that's how it's going to be. So that will be there for you. Second, I've made two variations of this that you can toggle off and on. The first one here that's already activated is the one where you just simply create a form for the sheet that you are actively using. So in this case, it's a 001, and it will create this uh, form from this sheet here. And the second one here, which you can do, is you can toggle these on and turn this one off toggle it off and the, the way to toggle on and off is right here toggle comment you have control plus the slash so here we have a toggling on and off which you can use this one it will allow you if you leave it like this and if you activate this last little one down here a little bracket down here I'm gonna activate him if you leave it like that okay just like I have it here then you'll be able to click on this and it'll say create forms and then it will create all of these at one in one fell swoop. That means you can create up to about 60 forms at one time automatically without having to do one by one if you have them all here in the spreadsheet. So again, that's all you need to do is just toggle these off and on. So we're only gonna use one right now. So we're gonna toggle these off, turn this one back on, and then turn the last bracket here off, okay? So that's the first thing. So you either make one or to make many from the same script. And the second thing that you can toggle off and on is this one here, which is allows you to block the user from um, filling out the form more than once. I don't use this anymore because what I found out is that if you have a Google form and the student fills it out, even if they try to fill it out 10 times, uh, the way I have my automatic grading set up, it will only take the first time they filled it out as the valid time. So you can turn this on or off depending on your needs. And the rest of it is simply slightly modified from the last one so that it will work better. And these are, have remained the same, the text, the paragraph, and the scale. But the choice checkbox and grid have slightly changed because now you can have various options for um, the same exam. Meaning, last time in the other script that I offered, if, if you did not have the same amount of options for each question in the form or exam, then you would have empty spaces, unfortunately. Now what this will do is it will take away all the empty spaces. So you can have for question number one, four options and question number two, 10 options, and it will make sure that you only have those options instead of uh, throwing in empty spaces there at the same time. Then down here below, you have a couple of new things, which is the image and the video now work. So now you can add images and videos with the script. And I've even set it at a certain width, which is 800 here. You can change that number if you so wish to make them bigger or smaller. And as well, you can change this uh, center here to left or right if you don't if you don't want it uh, centered. And then down here, the last thing I've added is a special acceptance uh, type of question, which means if the students uh, is answer no, then what it will do is simply bring them back up to the beginning of the form and not let them go on until they've pressed uh, clicked on yes, which allows me to have a guarantee that they have accepted the fact that their exam has been done only by them so that if they find out otherwise, then they will uh, have to face the consequences, sadly, if there's something goes wrong. So uh, I use this uh, just so that they understand the importance of being honest. But you can uh, completely and totally uh, select this like this right here 
and you can toggle that on and off if you so wish so that you can ignore it. Now, I'm going to leave in the template this part here below, which coincides to the last part of the script, but you can easily erase it and toggle it off and not have any problem. Just make sure you toggle it off, otherwise it will probably give you an error. So everything else now is working perfectly, so this should very easily give everything that everyone was commenting on in, in the comments in the last video it's to a satisfactory manner. So yeah, going back here to the template, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's uh, get this guy going here. Remember that the red star here means we have to save it, so we're going to save this guy. Then we're going to go over here and click on open, and then we're going to run this. And it's going to ask us authorization, which you guys have seen in many of my videos already. So now running the open, and that will put this uh, little sheet to form button here. And now we are on the first one, as you can see here. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to click on this guy, and it'll say create form. So let's create this guy. He's running. And as I said, if this was, uh, if you had chosen the other option to create all of these, then it would be sitting there and just say running for the next six minutes, because it takes about six minutes to create the 60 uh, exams or exercises that I have here. Then as you can see here, it created this uh, form and the form will open up and now we'll compare it to the template so you guys know exactly what's going on. And here in the template, we have the title. The title is this here in B1. And as you can see, that corresponds to this. And then we have the description in B2, which corresponds to this. And then we have this part here, which is the assessment exam are not active. Why have I added this? This you can also uh, delete when I offer the template. It is simply a way to make sure that I can keep using the same links, but uh, making sure the students cannot see the rest of the form. What does that mean? That means most of the time what Google offers is simply the fact of not um, being able to block um, people trying to fill out the form, you know, receiving form responses, uh, so to speak. But in this case, what I don't want them to do is to seeing uh, the questions because I'm obviously going to use this in the future. So what I've developed here is something that I will show in another video, how to toggle automatically with another script on or off uh, for hundreds of these, if you so have them, uh, which allows us to simply uh, to jump and make a like a circular type of um, motion here to where if you put this as this and here is page two and page two, that means when the students open the link up, all they're going to do is see this uh, each time they click on the continue button because it's gonna go back to this part. And then if I want them to actually see the rest of the exercise or exam, I'll just say go to page three and it will jump that part there which allows me to give them, get them right here to the name selecting, which also is another video I already have up on YouTube which uh, will also show you how to automatically change the list of names so you don't have to worry about that either. So as we continue on here, so we have uh, the please choose your username, which is right there. You do have to uh, put this uh, student in D6 here because un unfortunately, if you leave that completely blank at the beginning, it, it throws out an error. So you can just put anything you want in this. And then with the other video that I will put as a link below, you can change that very easily. And then down below here, we have the title of the section, which is right here, section, and then you have the title. And then you have the questions here, which is the I, and then what is the verb that goes corresponds to that. So um, we have all of the question titles here. And then under C, column C, is where you're going to put the both the descriptions of the questions or the instructions in this case, and the links. The links to the video and the images will also go here. You're going to put them right here so that they are activated and they come out there automatically. And then as you can see here, you have the options. If you choose choice, in this case, we're going to see the options here. We have choice, checkbox, grid, image, list, page, paragraph, scale, section, text, time, and video. So in here, because you have choice, then I've added the choices here. And the same would be similar to if you added a list or a checkbox, then the answers would go in here as well. If you're just going to use a video, then simply when you add the video, then all of this will be ignored and the only thing that will take into consideration is the YouTube link here. Take into consideration that for video, you can only put a YouTube link and for image, you have to put a public image. You can't grab something for Google Drive, unfortunately. It, it screws it up, it doesn't know what it is. So basically, you just choose from these here. After you make a copy of the template, and it's very important to underline, you have to make sure you make a copy of the things. A lot, many people are trying to ask me for um, access to the things I have shared. And rather, what you need to do is when you open these up, you need to go to file and then make a copy so that you can use it by yourself. 
So after you uh, choose the sections, you can make these as long as you want. You can actually add more rows here and make the, the exercise or exam longer. You don't have to fit it just in here. Uh, but basically, everything else that we want will be set to go here. Under answers here, this is not nothing that will affect the, the script. I have this here because in another video, I'm going to show you how to grab the answers that you have put here in such a way that it will automatically be thrown into the form responses sheet so that they can be automatically corrected, which I already have a video about, but I'm still missing the video that connects this to the last video I made about automatically correcting form responses. So that's basically it in a nutshell with this uh, template here. And again, I'm going to share both these things here so that you guys can take advantage of it and you can throw any comments or questions you have under the video.